Garden of Ban Ban 4 is here! Exciting stuff! Oh my god! Oh! Maybe we'll finally meet the sheriff. Oh. Oh my god, hi. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Right. Let's go. Okay, good. Wow. Damn. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no, you gotta stay there, babe. Stay there for me. Come back for you, I promise. Yep, here I am. Here you are. Yep. What? That's really scary. Please don't do that. Why can't I pick you up again? What? My child! I can't press anything. Why can't I press anything? What? No, my baby! Ah! Ha ha ha. You're a prisoner now. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Now your first task is very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Facing forward, the button on your right is a yes, and the button on your left is a no. Thank you. Question one. That's nice. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? Yeah, I did that. You saved a lot of time for someone that needs every minute on their hand. So thank you for that. That someone shall not be mentioned. Moving on. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Yeah. Really? I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Third question. Okay. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Yes. Heads up. Fourth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? I thought so. You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? The spider. That one gives me the creeps. 
Sixth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? I could tell something about your answers were fishy. All right. Grab your belongings from the back and step out of the room. Okay. You're right there. Jesus. Hey. What hey, man. a waste of time. You don't even work here. No. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? I'm looking for my kid. You know what? Follow me. Okay. We can talk more inside. I like you. You're fun. Careful here. It's not very sturdy. Okay. Welcome to the kingdom. Kingdom. Whoa. Whoa. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. Huh. We need to talk to the queen. And when we do, show respect. Sure. Oops, sorry. I got distracted by the pretty mushrooms. Should I not speak? Your Majesty, I've finished interrogating the new captive. And how would you rate the fruitfulness of that interrogation on a scale of one to ten? Zero. They don't talk much, and I think they came from the surface. The surface? There's a new one. Hmm. Did they say what they're doing down here? My chit, my kid. I'm afraid not. My child. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard the screams and the crash from above. You're here in search of your child. I fear you won't find them. Most humans have ceased to come down to this floor for quite some time now. We can help with getting you back up to the upper floors, but allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Queen Valcelia, the ruler of the kingdom. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. Oh. I apologize on behalf of both myself and the sheriff for the rough reception. We've all been a little on edge lately. I'm, I'm sure you can understand. Uh, how is the elevator back up doing, Sheriff? Not too well. It's missing some crucial parts. Three to be exact. Do you know where these parts are? Yes, Your Majesty. I was previously too occupied to go and collect them. The coming hours will be rough for us all. But this is not your battle, parent. A sheriff, accompany the parent and go grab the missing parts. But your majesty, we should be focused on protecting you. You will, once you two get back with the parts in hand. All right. You heard the lady. Oh. Let's Bye. The station, partner. Bye. This is great. You get by too well for someone who doesn't. <gasps> My baby! You know that? Maybe I should talk less and see where that gets me. Much of what the queen has said really downplayed our situation. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble, partner. The queen's jester has gone rogue. <gasps> no matter what happens, who's the jester? Must not make the queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. Oh. Interesting.
This music is great. I really like these characters too. Three parts of the elevator are scattered across three stations, which we can get to using this old transport system. I believe it's two tickets per rider. Two for me, two for you, and two for little B here. There should be some scattered around here. Oh, you follow me? Oh, that's... Oh. Oh. I'm so excited. This is a nightmare. It has to be. I thought I was ready to witness the things down here, but I was severely mistaken. They said the training would be enough. I felt betrayed and I felt scared, but never both at the same time. I should have never put my life in my co-workers' hands. I have been left behind as they ran away like the cowards they are, and now I'm left to talk to a piece of paper. What was that screaming coming from above, and what on earth was that thing that approached us? It's almost like nothing but a massive floating face. The training manual said nothing about that, and definitely nothing about the giggles that seemed to get closer and closer to me. Am I going insane? Oh, I can't go that way. Oh. oh. Come on, buddy. Come on, little beak. Missing one. I get your confusion, partner. I really do. What's a massive bipedal toad with a hat protecting a giant purple kangaroo queen? <laughs> After I was thrown down here by your kind like I was trash, I was hopeless, aimless, cold, and miles away from the promised surface. Long story short, I was found and accepted at my lowest. It was then that I declared myself the ultimate protector of the queen. It's a cause worth fighting for. Good-hearted individuals deserve protection. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. Come on! part we need should be in the administration room, within the ventilation corridors. The gesture. Looks like the door's locked. Don't worry, I have a bird for this. The feline? Here you go, babe. Sheriff. 
We just received instructions to abandon all work being done on Case 9. We will happily oblige, as we do not suspect that Case 9's behavior will change. The LLTT have been contacted. But to keep these reports up to date, we have included evidence that Case 9 is indeed able to hold himself back from arresting and imprisoning, often fatally, whoever he deems a filthy criminal. He just chooses not to. Case 9 only considers following orders of what he has called his citizens. While it remains unknown who he considers his citizens, it has been theorized that it is all Ban Ban's gang's members. He seemed to at least listen to the order of Case 6 when they were both placed in the same room. Refer to recording 134 for the full transcript of the interaction. While Case 9 had to be exited out of the room before he was instructed by Case 6 to do something dangerous, it was the first time Case 9 displayed obedient behavior in months. Case is permanently not ready for presentation. I can't pick up my baby again. <sighs> it's dark. Oh, what? What's happening? Hey! You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. Hi! I'm a hungry snake. Do you have any food? I probably have to move to progress, don't I? Get out of here. God. I can't fucking see. Oh. Okay. My little danger sensor. Wait. I know my enemies. We're being stalked. These vents are interconnected. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out. Excuse me. All right. The part we need from this section. Let's head back and see if it'll fit. Are we safe to go back this way? Well, the music's not playing. Little beak. Okay. Let's head for the elevator to see if the part fits. Sure. The 
say that the new approach to encapsulating Case 9 with his desired identity has backfired would be an understatement. Perhaps the amount of time Case 9's schedule that was dedicated to watching Western media was too excessive. While Case 9 has fully embraced himself as Ban Ban's gains gang's protector, he has grown to believe that everyone that is not part of Ban Ban's gang is a criminal, including inanimate objects with human features, the facility staff, and most likely children. Did not help that last week was completely dedicated to how to properly catch, imprison, and interrogate criminals his size or larger. No staff member is safe near Case 9, as his methods are simply too violent for a human being to survive. Case 9 has become a real western sheriff where existing as one who will ruin everything. Case is not ready for presentation. So this was before... Baby? Oh, I can't bring Baby with me, God damn it. Perfect. That's one of three. I'll stay here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the Queen if you're ready. Okay. Good. I want to explore a little bit. Something's going to chase me across this bridge and it's going to crack in the middle. friend of mine? A Ban-Ban? The Queen! As per management's request in pursuit of documenting the case's reaction, Case 14 has been informed that it will be moved to the lower levels and that the LLTT have been contacted. Within the same calm and reasonable demeanor that Case 14 has had since the modified GV solution was applied to her system, she proceeded to ask about whether a similar stylized holding cell will be provided to her where she was being moved, to which an affirmative answer was given. Afterwards, she proceeded to ask if the new place is where she would put her pouch to use and finally get to teach good children the importance of staying good and what happens to bad children, to which the present staff member said they were uncertain. The answer will now forever remain no. Case, in, case 14 was also informed, informed that her scepter will be taken away to be further researched and then returned, as the case has the firm belief that the scepter has magical powers. The case is not ready for presentation. Okay. I... Is Ban-Ban in the infirmary? And, like, I also don't... Oh, I would go back to talk to the sheriff, but I'm... I'm so far away. Hey, man. How 
we doing? When the queen mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you, just know it wasn't actually me. I was forced to obey without much thought. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason. Now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. Okay. I just need to rest for a little bit and I'll meet you at whatever that station is. Sure. Okay. Oh. The end of the hall. Sorry, my bad. Oh. <gasps> Miss Mason. Is this the jester again? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh. Hey, man. Hi. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. Okay. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Don't care. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. He was active from the very beginning. Look where your arrogance got us now. It's not arrogance. A position where neither of us can get to the children. Okay. This is your fault, and nobody else's. Okay. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Hey. You sure are a sleepy fellow? Yeah. Agreed. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected and eat. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Am I supposed to be seeing through my child's right. eyes? It looks like a monkey brain. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Shabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is one of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. 
We each have our plans. Why is there a handprint on Opilla? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Nor can oh. we undo the past or previous misery. Did she always have that? Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives aren't. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the captain can help. Am I captain? As expected. Oh yeah, I am captain, aren't I? What's that sound? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that? It sounds like a fucking train. Help me! Oh my god, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. What the f- what? What? Hello? No, no, wake back up. You gotta explain that. Why is- why is Charles here? I appreciate spider-to-spider -spider communication. But also, what the fuck? What? This is the first entry to what I will refer to as the Toadster Archives where all information gathered about criminals will be recorded. Criminal number one, the snail, was captured near the front gates of the kingdom while I was on patrol. The snail was captured while hiding in her shell and has remained hidden since. It was initially thought to be an empty shell husk until quiet crying was heard coming from within the shell. All oh. attempts to convince the snail to leave her shell have failed. Well, yeah, it's... The reason for this extreme distress has not yet been determined. But I have a theory. This criminal ain't from around here. So it's possible that this foreign hostile environment is what's causing this unnatural behavior. More updates soon. Snails can't leave their shells, bro. You want her to come out? To, to like, poke her head out? I'm sorry. You seemed well-intentioned, that one time. Hey. Where have you been? I've been waiting for a while. The next piece that we need should be at the second station, the feeding sector. Sure. I feel now is a good time to introduce ourselves. Which we haven't done up to this point, if you can believe it. <laughs> I'm Uthman. I worked here before everything came crashing down. Oh yeah. Literally and figuratively. Right. I can't imagine the stuff you've witnessed down here. My co-workers and I should have spoken up sooner. Perhaps all of this should have been prevented then. But then again, my co-workers weren't really friends in those last couple of months anyway. So it would have needed some good planning. You ever had those friends that suddenly turn on you for no reason? To say mine turned on me would be an understatement. They suddenly stopped talking to me. They looked at me like I was some sort of monster. Sometimes I lose my temper, sure, but it seemed excessive. I was and still am confused, to say the least. We're here. Let's get going. What? Right, he doesn't realize that he's not the human genome Wait, donor. Down. How? I can't. I am also working with a wanted criminal. Well, he is a citizen, I guess. So I think it's fine.
What? That must have been a trap that the sheriff set up earlier. Poor Josh. I can't imagine how confusing this has all been for him. That wasn't locked the last time I was here. Can't be too hard to get it open though, right? Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Oh! This one's open. Well... Well, there's the answer. What if I just... There seems to be two doors behind each other. I think we opened the inner one. Oh, fuck. Hey, man. Oh, that's nice. What was I thinking coming down here? I could have just hidden a locker or in an isolated room or something, but... You know what, paper? I am content. When I die here, and I have accepted that it's a matter of when, not if, at least my mind will be at ease. I've finally gotten the answer to a question that had me sleepless for weeks. I finally know what's down here. Given that I will probably never sleep again, even if I somehow miraculously make it out alive after what I have witnessed, I am content. Whatever this establishment was hired to find out about GV, I doubt they ever thought it would involve their workers getting eaten by giant clay animals. Sure. Oh. Okay, what does the other button do? Ugh. I must practice. Practice makes perfect. List of jokes. Kangaroo, a jellyfish, and a toad walk into a bar. That's it. None of them actually walk. How did the jellyfish get to the seafloor? They took the jellyfader. What do you call a surgery being performed by a kangaroo? A hopperation. They're all terrible. Am I the joke? Wow. You just come in here, steal what's ours, and then leave? Sorry. You humans are all the same. Thieves with no shame. Your greed knows no limits, only controllable for minutes. You can have the crown. I couldn't care less about that. But can I at least have some applause for my little poem? Yeah. Yeah. How do I clap? Listen to that guy over there. All he cares about are his poems. I'll show you something that's actually impressive. Sure. A magic trick. Okay. Open sesame. <laughs> I think I earned a round of applause for that. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I don't know how to do that, though. I don't know how to clap. Bye. I love you.
That was fun. I like that. Before we grab the elevator piece, there is something I need to do first. Uh... I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. Oh, the guy on you here. do the honors. Oh dear. He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Now, we wait. Wait, no, nab, nab. We can't let nab, nab take him. Hey! Are you kidding? I tried fixing you so many times that you're just unfixable. Uh, Ban Ban? Enough is enough. Ban Ban, you're gonna die. Oh. Oh, right. Hey. It's okay, man. You, uh, did what you had to. I can control it. I know I can. I have a few things I need to do around here. You go back without me. The elevator part should be around here somewhere. Okay. Hey man, I'm sorry. We had someone here for you, but Nab Nab took him. I'm sure Ban Ban will bring him back over, though. Hey. That's two or three. Great work, partner. Welcome back. I hope your journey is worth it. And the elevator a little more useful. We're very close to having it fully fixed. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. I think that'd be nice. Please do consider my request. Other than that, I don't want to keep you any longer. Also, it appears more of your friends have arrived. If you'd like to go check on I, I guess so. I didn't realize I was making friends. Is that Bambolina? Oh. Oh, hey, Opella. Oh. This is the second entry to the Toadster archives. Criminal number two, the teacher, was 
captured near the elevator that goes down from the third floor, where a human was also captured earlier. That's me. Unlike the snail, the teacher was extremely hostile towards me, citing a missing student from her class as the reason she's even down here. That would be me as well. Numerous failed attempts to escape were recorded, but it appears she's finally given up. Numerous objects were introduced in an attempt to calm her down, with only a few excess bowling pins seeming to do the job. Yeah. The teacher has been sitting in a corner since calming down, repeating the sentence, I can't be late to herself, over and over. Truly an interesting case. <laughs> God. This is the third entry to the Toadster archives. Criminals numbers three and four, the birds, were captured by being lured in their current holding cells. Their sudden and unannounced appearance within the walls of the kingdom took me by surprise, but they are now safely contained. They seem to be very territorial, as they did not exhibit any hostile behavior as long as I kept my distance from their cell. It also seems that they were frantically looking for something, although I'm not sure what exactly. Since containment, they've remained completely still. I think they might be trying to trick me into getting in to check on them. I'm not falling for that. More updates soon. I'll go grab Little Beak in a moment. This is the fourth entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number five, the Green Gorilla, was captured by fallen victim to an intricate trap that was designed and set up in the feeding sector by yours truly. So far, the Green Gorilla has been chained, so not too much information has been retrieved. So far today, we've received seven cases in only a few hours. It's very unnatural. Something up above has happened that's causing these cases to end up down here. Me. Probably. I've familiar faces in this state. But I cannot risk my health to help old friends that may have gone mad. Hmm. More updates soon. Let me go grab... Little Beak. I'll be back. Oh, that's not fair. Am I drone? <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Yep, it sure is box. Whoa. Case 14 was moved to her new dwelling this morning, to which she expressed satisfaction but natural nervousness. As per management's request, further research on the phenomenon of cases of Case 14's pouch was conducted, and while the research has provided invaluable observations, very little in terms of explanation can be confirmed. It appears that any and all Jivanium-grown bodies experience a lot of difficulty leaving the pouch once inside, and especially more so if Case 14 chooses to hold the pouch su shut. Reflexes appear to loosen Case 14's ability to hold the pouch shut at will. The reason for any case's inability to leave the pouch has been theorized to be the result of some sort of attraction between GV particles when they are within very close proximity, such as a body being within the interior of a pouch. Hmm. Can I play my tapes here? 
Ага. А. А. Вау. This is really interesting. I like these rooms. Three games, two rounds each. Lights out. Something in one of the rooms might have changed. Report the room where the change has occurred. Memorize the contents of each room and keep your eyes peeled. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. Let's go for it. It's really funny that it's the same observation duty sound effect now. Oh, there's a no change button. I completely forgot. Okay, one more time.
This is fun. I like that kind of stuff. Cool. Physical test next, huh? Hey, buddy. It's a really interesting creature design. It's like fox, cat, dinosaur. Okay. Come here. Oh. God. I don't know if I'm just stupid or... I think if they made them look like actual buttons, I would have gotten it. Hey, I'm starting to like the system of communication. It's hard to do what we want to do without speaking to each other in private for a suspicious amount, and you know how they handle suspicious in this place. What I don't like is having to sometimes leave our messages at this floor. As much as understand that it is necessary sometimes, I just can't help but feel watched down here. Anyway, I have collected the data of all the children currently enrolled in the kindergarten and left them at your desk. I've marked my preferred genome donors, and you do the same on the sheet. We can then exclude any students that aren't marked by the both of us. And then from the smaller pool of candidates, we pick one to proceed with. Oh my god. Oh, this is nice. can't find the last one. How can I not find this last one?
You are. But if trapping you will get you out of my way too, then who am I to complain? I tell you a very fitting joke, but you humans just never seem to get them. The closest people to me denied me what I was made to do. People who were genetically programmed to laugh at my every joke! some end-of-the-world scenario where whatever's in the Queen's pouch escapes if I make her laugh. But I'm not buying it! Why not? I was distraught, and I became dead set on making the ultimate jokester. But after failing time and time again, I realized something. I am the ultimate jokester! There was nobody better to be made, even if by me. With the sheriff occupied, thanks to you, reaching the queen will be a piece of cake. I will go now, because unlike you, my path to having my family back has never been clearer. Okay, bye. Your Majesty, I have finally come to do what I was made for, and deliver my jokes! This is my best bet yet! I command you to leave, and not tell any jokes! Oh no! Look at what you have done! Say to the kangaroo. Hop on! <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, she likes bad jokes.
We have to escape this entire floor to anywhere else. Bro, what? No, no. <laughs> Everything we've worked so hard to build, just ruined. I've let the other prisoners go, but grab this one. Things he knows will definitely be useful. If we make it down there alive, we need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. Alright, another chapter done. I think this was my favorite one. <laughs> I really like these characters. I enjoyed the puzzles I had to go through. I have no idea what to make of Choo Choo Charles. I'm, I, I, I'm not even going to begin to touch that personally. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that, but uh... Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.